Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will talk about knowledge-based agents in AI. And we will also see few definitions relevant to this knowledge-based agents. And we also see an example using autonomous car. And we also see the implementation algorithm. And we also see how you can achieve that implementation. So first, let us see the definition of a knowledge-based agent. What is meant by a knowledge-based agent? So here, you can see the definition of a knowledge-based agent. So whenever you are talking about AI, it is a machine, right? So it will not have a natural intelligence that humans are having. So humans, how you will perceive some information and how you will develop your intelligence, say suppose once you have been to some shopping area. So there you will try to remember what is the route to follow to go to the shopping area. What are the famous things or, um, that you can purchase there or what are the favorite food items that you will that you can procure from there. All that information you will have. So you will accumulate this information when you are moving from one place to another place. But the machines will not have this, right? So next time, if you want to go from one place to another place, okay, so you will have this knowledge. You will use this knowledge and based on that, you will proceed which place to visit first and then which place to visit next or where you will buy, where you can get certain things cheap or where you can get some uh, expensive things and all. You can plan and move accordingly. So that reasoning, so how you will be able to reason. So that approach you will try to inculcate in the machine. Okay, so that we are calling as a knowledge-based agent. In AI, the human process of reasoning approach to intelligence is embedded in knowledge-based agent. So you are embedding everything, how you reason and how you are developing your intelligence, all that information you are embedding into this knowledge-based agent. So that is how the AI knowledge-based agents will work. Okay, so to understand this concept, we need the help of few more definitions. Let's first go through that. First of all, let us see what is meant by a knowledge base. Okay. So we, from the childhood, humans will be accumulating the knowledge. So we have a lot of knowledge base in our brains. But when you are designing an agent, freshly you are starting it. So you should add information one by one to that agent. So that information we will be adding in terms of sentences or axioms. So the knowledge base is the central component for any knowledge based agent. In short, you can call this as KB. Okay. So here initially there will be some background knowledge and to that as it goes number of trials, it will learn one by one, one by one. So how that will be done is the human agent only, the agent programmer, whoever will be there. So they will be adding sentences one by one. So these sentences, sometimes we can also call as axioms. And here, what language we will use to store these sentences? Can we use a regular English language? No. So here, the language that we will be using, we call as knowledge representation language. Okay. Uh, so shortly we will be studying about propositional logic. So here in order to represent the statement, sentences or axioms, we will be using this knowledge representation language and it represents some assertions about the world. So you will be giving some statements. So that is basically an assertion. I hope all of you have an idea about assertion. Okay. Now let us also see what is meant by an axiom. Here we said the sentences can sometimes can be called as an axiom. So then what is an axiom? So axiom is nothing but a sentence that is taken as given without being derived from any other sentences. Okay. So here, for example, to say A tends to B. So I need not wait for another statement. I'll just give you one example. Suppose if I have a statement A tends to C. So here this I have derived from A tends to B and B tends to C, which, which implies A tends to C. So in this case, I can't call this A tends to C as an axiom, but I can call this A tends to B and B tends to C as two axioms. 
Okay, so the basic statements, which does not depend on any other sentence, we can call as an axiom. On, a, on any axiom, two operations you can perform. The first axiom is tell. The other one is ask. So tell is nothing but adding new sentences to the existing knowledge base. Okay, so here all the assertions, whatever you are having, so that you can take as a tell action or tell operation. Then ask, what is ask? Query about what is known. Which, okay, so uh, about already existing knowledge, if you pose some questions, okay, so that we call as a ask operation. Then let what is inference? So inference is nothing but here you have a set of axioms and from that you will be deriving one more new statement. Okay. So deriving new sentences from the old. So here I have two axioms A tends to B, B tends to C. So from that what I have derived A tends to C. So here what is my inference? My inference is A tends to C. And here one requirement for the inference is when you are asking a question of the knowledge base, the answer must be existing in the knowledge base. Okay. So in the in the background knowledge, already the information related to this A tends to C should be present. In order to derive this inference, I should already have A tends to B and B tends to C. These two axioms should be there in the knowledge base. Then only I can derive the inference A tends to C. So that requirement must be satisfied all the time. So now let's talk about knowledge-based agent program. I'll show you the algorithm directly. And here you can observe we ha you have a function KB. KB stands for knowledge-based. KB agent, knowledge-based agent. It percepts. Okay, what is meant by perception? You are sensing something. So human beings have organs to sense. Okay, so then how an agent will sense? Agent will sense only through the sentences or the axioms that the agent programmer is supplying. So based on that, it returns an axiom. So this is the purpose of a knowledge-based agent program. And for this, the persistent information that you should have in the have is a knowledge base. In order to perform this, the prerequisites are you should have a knowledge base. And you, you will take T, which is a counter, which is initialized to zero, indicating the time. So at time zero, what is the status of the knowledge base? Step by step, how you are adding sentences or axioms to the knowledge base, everything is recorded according to the time. And here in the knowledge based agent program, you can see totally three steps we will be performing. Okay. So first, the thing that we will be doing is given a percept. Okay, so that means something is sensed. Okay, so then the agent adds that percept to its knowledge base. Okay, whatever information is perceived, whatever information is sensed, that is being added to the knowledge base. So, so that we will be doing using this tell instruction. So, and then what you are adding? You are adding whatever is perceived. And along with the timestamp. So at this particular time. So this knowledge is perceived. So that you are adding. So that is the first step. The second step is asking. It asks the knowledge base for the best action. So that it is doing using this query. So here you have an ask operation. right? So this ask operation. It is asking the knowledge base. Say suppose. Mm, let us take the example of an autonomous car. So it is driving. So suddenly. Uh, there is a junction. So then it will ask the knowledge base whether to go to the left or to the right. So then based on the maps that is already fed to the autonomous car, it will take a decision of whether to go to the left or to the right. So there it will apply that reasoning. So based on the existing knowledge, it will apply that reasoning and it will search for the best action that it can perform, whether to stop or whether to go left, whether to go right or whether to take a U-turn. So all that it will decide based on the pre-existing knowledge. So then the third operation that it will do is after returning this best action, that action will be taken by the autonomous car, say suppose. Okay. So then it will tell the knowledge base that, that it has taken that particular action. 
and then it will increment the timer also t is equals to t plus 1 and finally it will return the action that it has performed so these three steps will always be performed at t so initially time is zero right so at time zero these three steps are performed again at time t one all these three steps are performed like that from time to time these steps will be performed repeatedly in order to perform this the first thing that you can see is make percept sentence okay so what it is doing it is constructing a sentence asserting that the agent perceived some information whatever percept say suppose the autonomous car has come across an object okay so what to do with the object whether to hit the object or take a diversion and go so that perception it should give okay so that will be formed in the form of a sentence using the appropriate language that we are using that is the proportional propositional logic and it will add that to the existing database and then make action query so again you here you can see make action query and it is passing a timestamp so whenever it is passing that it construct a sentence that asks what action should be done okay so here it is map forming a question out of the situation it is forming a question and it is asking the knowledge base what to do and then make action sentence so this make action sentence it constructs asserting that the chosen action is executed here some suggestion is being done or uh, answered by the query okay so then that particular action is being taken so that will be done here so action is taken at this particular time and that is recorded in the knowledge base also so this whole process is performed with the help of this ask and tell operations only its internal implementation will help us to perform all these inference mechanisms okay so internally what will happen so all the reasoning related to the current state of the world and what are the possible actions what is the current state of the world uh, let us imagine that at present the robot is facing an obstacle so then what actions can be taken whether to apply brakes and stop or whether to take a left turn or whether to take a right turn or whether to take a u turn and go back what to do okay so all that possible action sequences has to be reasoned and all that will be done with the help of this tell and ask operations so this is about knowledge based agent program so now let us see how we can implement this program okay so with the pre existing knowledge so this can be implemented at two levels one is at the knowledge level say suppose the program you are implementing at the knowledge level so then how you will implement here we need to only specify the agent some inform some background knowledge what it already knows and what is the goal let's see this with the help of an example again let's take the example of an autonomous car okay so here the goal of an automated taxi is it has to take a passenger from san francisco to marin country so say suppose you have one source and one destination say suppose from one place to another place the passenger has to go this autonomous car has to take the person from this place a to place b okay so in between what it will come across so here when moving from san francisco to marin country the existing knowledge or the background knowledge is there will be a golden gate bridge okay so this is connecting these two places so definitely this autonomous vehicle has to pass through that golden gate bridge then only it will reach its goal okay so the here what was the information that is pre existing crossing the golden gate bridge so only when it crosses this bridge you can assume that the task is accomplished okay so then we can expect it to cross the golden gate bridge because it knows that it will achieve its goal so this is at the knowledge level so it will only have the information based on the google maps whatever is fed to it so it will have the route map for 
place A to place B and what are the intermediary locations that it has to pass on, all that information it will have. Okay, so and based on that, it will proceed. Here only the information, implementation we are not talking about, only the knowledge, okay, which is knowledge which is stored in the form of sentences we are talking about. Now coming to the implementation level. So at the implementation level, either you can implement that program using the at the knowledge level or at the implementation level. Say suppose you are implementing, then its geographical knowledge is implemented. It can be implemented based on the programming language that you are choosing or based on the language that you are using to implement either the maps, whatever you are feeding or the environment, the geographical environment can be fed through pixel maps or a linker list or a set of strings, okay? Or it can, the information can be stored as symbols and registers or you may use a network of neurons connected to each other. So you can represent the information in various ways, okay? So this is the implementation detail, choosing one particular data structure or one particular representation will be taken care at the implementation level. In the implementation level also, two approaches can be fo followed. One is a declarative approach where you will be using the propositional logic and you will tell the knowledge-based agent what it needs to know. So that you will be giving starting from zero, in such, uh, zero, zero statements or zero assertions. You will add one by one. So not you, the agent designer. Whoever is the agent design, designer, he can tell one by one statement. You can, he can add one by one sentence or axiom to the knowledge base until our autonomous car knows about our environment. It should be able to operate on the environment. Say, suppose you are preparing for an exam. Okay. So then you are attending a class. So then you are... Professor has to teach you everything so that you will be able to attempt your exam. So adding one by one concept every day. So adding one by one concept to your knowledge base and finally enabling you to face the exam. Until then, all topics must be covered, right? So in the same way, here also the agent designer has to tell one by one sentence to the agent and finally he should enable that it is able to operate in the particular environment. So this is the declarative way. So now the other way is a procedural way. So here directly a coding language will be selected and based on that a program will be designed. So whatever desired behavior is expected, everything is coded. So that we call as a procedural aspect. So that's it for today's topic. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.